Question here, does Zero Friction Cycling, Zero Friction Cycling constantly uses my name to promote his products? Fair enough, it's YouTube land, clickbait titles he uses, I get it. Does Zero Friction Cycling, someone asked me, do you think Zero Friction Cycling, I mean, first of all, what a clickbait name Zero Friction Cycling is. It's like me calling myself uh, Zero Rejection Dating or Zero Conviction Lawyers. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Low Friction Cycling, uh, do, does he promote excess solvent usage? In my opinion, this is my opinion, I think zero, in my opinion, zero friction cycling promotes excessive solvent usage to clean chains. Now, his business, right, he makes his money telling people that you've got to do this ex, you know, extensive chain cleaning regime and if it's too complicated, just send your chain to me. So that's more air miles of sending a chain. You get your chain, you take off your bike, you send it to him, you pay him your money, he puts it through all his solvents and stuff like that. In my opinion, that is excessive use of fuel, air miles, solvents, etc. When you can just do this stuff at home. This, I bought one of these in 2021. All right, that's how much solvent I've used to clean my chains. Okay, I pour some of this mineral terps. I'm not sure what you call it in your country, but in Australia, mineral terps. I put it in here. All right, I put my chain in there for the first application. All right, and then I use squirt lube. And then that's it. Okay, I don't ever take the chain off the bike again. Okay. There is a concern of how much you can use these speed links again, okay? That's, again, you, you're taking your chain off every time you've got to clean your chain. You, you're wearing through those. You're chucking those in the bin. In my opinion, you know, good people staying silent allows bad habits or bad people to progress. I believe that Adam promotes excessive use of throwing away chain links when we can just use that forever, <laughs> virtually for the whole chain, for the whole 10,000 kilometers or whatever I get out of the chain these days using squirt lube, okay? But again, Adam's in the business of selling you chain cleaning services and lubes. I'm not, I don't have any dog in the race. I'm totally unbiased here. I'm totally unbiased here. I'm just a cyclist giving the simple tips to make your life cycling life a lot easier, okay? So all you need is a bottle of this. This will last you four to five years you know, how much, my question to Adam is, Adam refuses to do a live debate with me because I've got so many questions I've got to ask him, but he, he won't do that. Will, Adam, why won't you do a live debate with me? Why do you constantly refer to def, you know, uh, slanderous and defamatory comments regarding me? Why do, you, why do you keep spreading fake allegations, bro? Have some integrity, okay? Anyway, my question, if we did a live debate, I'd be willing to, Adam won't because people like that don't want to face the truth, in my opinion. Why do you promote so much solvents, bro? All right? Why do you use so much solvents? How, how many liters of solvent do you use a year in your home, backyard, chain waxing business, okay? How, how many liters of solvents do you use? That, in my opinion, in my opinion, is absurd, okay? We, I'm a cyclist, primarily to help reduce my carbon footprint. So I look for ways to create longevity of my drive chain and using products, eco products like Squirt, Okay, biodegradable. Is look look at the ingredients in molten speed wax. All right, PTFE, molybdenum, tungsten disulfide, or whatever it's called. That stuff, the molten speed wax, in my opinion, isn't safe. The fumes that come off of that, PTFE is a forever chemical. They say, you know, squirt lube. All right, biodegradable. Okay, this is the best in the biz. In my opinion, if you think it's anything better, let me know in the comment section. I'm an open-minded person. Again, you know what I mean? Oh, it's dirty. It's contaminated. <laughs> if Look at these are the shoes I'm wearing today. All right, I did a 14, 26 up Norton Summit. Okay, like, like these people out like Adam and that will tell you, oh, if your chain's not absolutely perfectly clean, you know what I mean? Oh, you, you, you're going to get dropped in the bunch or whatever. Like, <laughs> I mean, they don't say that, but, you know, that's implied, isn't it? That... Yeah, you know, people get so obsessed about their chain cleanliness. It's like, how much, what sort of life, do you have a life, people, right? Do you have a life that your chain has to be like, you know what I mean? So yeah, these chain rings here, these chain rings are getting a bit worn. This is, I bought this, uh, these chain rings came off some another cranks, but so I would say they've used maybe a bad lube on those because they've worn a fair bit, okay? I can replace those, but my chain rings, on my bike, some square one don't have that level of wear because I use squirt lube, okay? Because I use squirt lube. And then once I put the chain in here for one time only, and then I get a clean rag. This rag's a bit dirty, but I get a clean rag, and I just sit there and hand polish the chain. And it feels really good. Put a podcast, I'm not breathing in the fumes and stuff, and it's really cool. Right, and that's just only one time, okay? 
and then maybe one day I, I put the chain on here and just backpedal and do a little clean here and there. But you know, I don't, you don't have to. All right, squirt pretty much cleans itself. Okay, but if you get sandy stuff, doing a XC race, okay, you get a little backspin. Just, people use less solvents. All right, the less solvents you can use, the better. So that's that's my gripe there with zero friction clickbait, clickbait man. Click on his biggest videos. He uses clickbait titles. You know, but he claims to be a professional. I'm a, he says he claims to be above the drama, yet <laughs> all he talks about is drama on his most popular videos. Okay, uh, I don't claim not to be a clickbaiter. I love clickbait and the drama. It's all good. Anyway, that's the deal. All right, life's simple. Enjoy it. Relax. Chill out. Okay, a bicycle is meant to simplify your life, not complicate it. Don't get yourself anxiety about how clean your chain is. Use squirt lube and minimise your impact on the environment by minimising your use of solvents. Have a great day.